Hi friends, it's Wednesday, we all survived. I don't know about you, but I spent way too much time this morning looking at the news, frittering my time on social media and Twitter, twatter. So I am not feeling my best, my anxiety is high. So I'm gonna put on my own oxygen mask, I'm gonna invite you to come along with me and I'm gonna go walk you through my daily energy routine. I actually did this live inside my accountability tribe yesterday and I was gonna do it on Instagram, but I felt like I needed to share it here. So some of you know what this is, some of you don't, whatever, you can join in. Um, there's no right or wrong way to do energy work. You cannot hurt yourself, but it helps me feel grounded. It gives me something to control. I'm all about controlling your controllables and more than likely it's gonna make my day turn around. It's gonna help my mindset get right because we can't control the outside world, you guys. We can't control the outcome of the election. We all did our part by hopefully showing up yesterday and we can be good humans moving forward, but that's about that. Cool, so here we go. We're gonna do a daily energy routine if you've never done this. Like I said, you can't hurt yourself. There's no right or wrong way to do it unless you do nothing at all and eat Snickers, okay? So I'm gonna move this. Maybe you can see more of me. So we always start here. This is an awesome thing to do if you're in your car, well, if you're driving, maybe keep one hand on the wheel, but this is just a really great grounding thing. You're just tapping below your eyes. You're not punching yourself in your face. You can have your kids do this with you. I think it's super awesome. So this is called the fourth ounce. We tap here. You tap right here on either side of your collarbone. You can rub. I just like to tap. No big deal, okay? Next thing, this is your thymus. You're tapping in between your breastbone. This is awesome for your immune system. Those of you who are super freaked out about the upcoming cold and flu season, this is a great thing to do. If you're not feeling super great, cool. You could even make Tarzan sounds if that really helps you. I don't know, YOLO, you do you, cool. Now you're gonna go to, this is your spleen point. So you find the bottom of your rib cage over here. And I don't like to tap this, I like to gently rub this. This is a letting go point. If you've been holding on to all kinds of crap, emotionally, physically, energetically. If this is sore, that's probably what that means. So it's a good thing to help along, okay? Here we go, that was your four thumbs. Easy peasy, right? Cool, now we're gonna cross our energy across our body. So you go to the opposite shoulder and you, you kinda, I like to give it a little squeeze and then you go across your body. You're gonna go off of your foot, off of your baby toe, and you can just do this as fast as you want. So I started working with an energy practitioner a couple years ago. Her name is Brianna. She has a page over here called My Joyful Horizons. Same thing. Now we're just gonna go back to where your kidney is, your low back. You're gonna come across your body, do the same thing. She has a page called My Joyful Horizons. She shares all kinds of really helpful content and she's actually certified, a certified energy practitioner, which is really crazy cool. Super cool. So she's helped me so much with my energy feeling grounded, feeling less anxious. Okay, so crossing our energy continued. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna march. You can do this by crawling on the floor. This feels really, really weird. You can meet your energy where it's at and just step, same leg, same hand, until it feels like you can cross over. Cool, and if you're like, what is she doing? You can crawl around on the ground too. Maybe you'll find an extra Snickers, I don't know. You do you. This is my favorite part. This is a crown pull. So hands at the top of your head and you're literally just gonna pull apart your head. You're gonna let all your worries out, all the things you're chewing on because none of it matters. You know, worrying is just praying for something that you don't want. I don't know about you, but I don't wanna do that. So I do this little tiny switcheroo thing. Just my own flair, okay? So this is perfect for your fight, your fight, fight or flight, yes. It's called triple warmer. And it's like you're gonna tuck your hair behind your ears. So you could do this when you're talking to people. If they're super stressing you out, and then you go ahead, opposite hand, opposite shoulder, come off your fingertips, and you're just flicking it off. Whatever it is, if it's your worries, if it's your fear, if it's your anxiety, <laughs> if it's your anger, I don't know, whatever. Totally personal. So I'm gonna go across my eyes because like I said, energy work is super intuitive and that's what feels good. Cool, next thing we're gonna do, heaven and earth, okay? So I'm gonna rub my hands together and I'm gonna shake them off and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stretch, engage your core, okay? Just because, feels good. So I'm pushing up and I'm pushing down 
Now I'm gonna do the other side, shake it off. Pushing up, pushing down, cool. This, I don't know what this is called, but this feels right. So I'm gonna do it, you can do it or not do it, whatever. So I'm gonna go here to like right above my belly button and I'm gonna draw a heart. My cats are freaking out right now. I'm just gonna draw a heart on my chest. Drawing a heart on my chest because that's what feels good. This, back to this, back to the hand shaky thing. Here we go, shake, shake. Now you're gonna come around to your back, right? Small of your back, you're gonna go down to your tailbone. You're gonna come over your hips to your crotch. You're gonna come up over your chest as fast or as slow as you want. You're gonna come up over your mouth and you're gonna blow into your hands three times. <sighs> hand to your chest. Now you're gonna take these hands and you're gonna go ahead and slide them down the outside of your body all the way on the outside of your feet, off your baby toes, around to your big toes, up the inside of your legs, up into your armpits, back to that spleen point, and then off your baby toes. One more time. Here we go. So low back to your, what is that called? Like your sacrum, your tailbone. Around to the front, up the top, three deep breaths. Back to your chest. Off your toes, up the inside, into your armpits, back to that sling point, and then off your baby toes. Okay. Here we go. Lymphatic massage. This is super great. We hold a lot of stuff in our lymph. All kinds of stuff. So I like to do this one. See, you can do just little pieces of this wherever you are, you guys. Wherever you are. So I'm just, just gently massaging up and down on my arms three times. More than three times, actually. Here we go. Into your armpits. Just move and stuff around. No big deal. Don't be scared. It's all good. Here we go. Up here, underneath your collarbone. I'm gonna come over here in between my boobage, like down the middle of your chest. You're gonna come over here to like underneath your bra line and you're gonna move it across. If you're doing this with me, give me a heart. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna put up my tip chart. All right, here we go. This is underneath your rib cage. Ooh, I got a good sigh there. If you sigh, if you yawn, it's an energetic release. It's all a good thing. Here we're going back to that spleen point, and I'm just gonna massage it a little bit. Here we go, outside of your belly button. Just working your way down, no big deal. Doesn't take very long. This is actually way faster when I don't talk about it, but I'm trying to go a little slower for you. So this is great if you have any kind of female stuff happening, if you have a UTI, okay? You're just going along your bikini line, and then you're gonna go down. See, you really put out your tip drawer now. People will be like, what is she doing? Okay, now we're gonna go to the outside inside of your leg. I just do one at a time, but you could do both outsides, both insides. I don't know, freaking you do you, okay? That's the beauty of this. So I'm controlling my controllables today, doing my energy practice. I haven't meditated yet, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do a little bit of tapping, which I freaking swear by. And then I'm gonna work out. And then I'm gonna wash my windows. Exciting stuff, right? Okay, final couple things. You wanna hook up your energy. So finger goes in your belly button. The other thumb goes here above your eyes, or well, in between your eyes. You can just kinda of, kind of pull up. If you're like, that's weird, you could put this hand at the base of your skull where there's that indentation and you just kind of hang out here until you feel like you could move on. Whatever. I decide. Cool. So now I've hooked up my energy, top and bottom. We're all crossing over. Everything is good. Can't control anyone else. You control you. We're going to zip up our energy. Okay. So zipping. This is the most important part of this entire thing today. Zip up your energy, okay? Because there's a lot of energy vampires. There's a lot of triggered, angry people on all sides. You don't need that shit in your life. So we're zipping up our energy. You can zip up the back. You could even lock it up. Final thing is this. I'm gonna build my bubble. Nobody can come in my bubble unless they give them permission. You guys, none of us are victims. We're all in charge of our own lives. We're all in charge of our own decisions our own mindsets and our own attitudes and the stuff that we bring in, true story. So I'm building my bubble today and I'm only gonna allow in joy. I'm gonna push out of my bubble. My kids and I do this all the time. We do it when we're driving. They'll build a bubble around my car, we'll do it. We used to do it when we had a bus stop. It's just a great thing to do, especially if you're gonna interact with someone that maybe you love, but they're a bit of an energy vampire. You zip up your energy, 
and you build a bubble and then you invite farts. Farts allowed in my bubble, okay? So you can make this fun. You could paint the inside of your bubble. You could put glitter in your bubble. Shannon, are you gonna build a bubble today? Yeah. Yes. So anyways, I do that every day. I got off track last month and last month I didn't have as much joy in my life. So I'm going back to it, cultivating it. And, you know, just be a work in progress with it. So if you have questions, you can go ahead. I mean, you could message me. You could drop, you could drop something in this thread or you can go find my friend over at My Joyful Horizons. Her name is Brianna. She has all kinds of great content over there. Energy work is awesome. And it's just one more tool in our tool chest, my friends. So anyways, I'm sending you love today. And I hope that you take time to put on your own oxygen mask, whatever that means for you, and that you unplug from the things that create fear or anxiety or overwhelm. You're capable of that. You're in charge of that. You don't have to take in all the stuff. If it doesn't serve you, why spend your time on it? True freaking story. So that's my energy practice for the day. I'm going to do my, I'm going to do a quick meditation and I'll do a quick tapping. And because I love you, I'm going to go ahead and share them today and you can try them. And if they serve you and you freaking love it, then cool. Let me know. Otherwise you do you. Cool. Cool. Bye friends. <laughs>